zombie apocalypse. Good day, friends. I've got a project for you today. We are going to create our very own Scratch game. So we're going to start by learning how to move a sprite. I'd like you to type Scratch in the top of your browser and visit scratch.mit.edu. If you don't have Scratch, there will be a little link where you can learn how to sign up for Scratch and then rejoin this movie. The very first step when you visit Scratch is to make sure that you have Flash always allowed, pop-ups and redirects allowed, and if you have any problems, check the site settings for things you might not have allowed. Once you do that, hit Reload, and then we want to hit Create to make our first project. Scratch starts with this little sprite here, but I don't want that. I'd like you to right-click and delete it. If right-click doesn't work, you can use the scissors. We need to save our file. Let's call it Zoom because we're going to make a cool little jet, or a rocket is a better word for it, and click File Save Now. You need to keep an eye on that Save button so that you never lose your work. I'd like you all to grab the same sprite as me, and I'm going to show you later how easy it is to change sprites at a later time, but I want you all to grab the cool little spaceship and click OK. We're going to use a cool technique with messages so that when we click start, messages get sent to our ship and it does special things. So first bring out a when clicked, bring out a broadcast message, and we're going to call our first message by the name start. When you finish that, bring out the when I receive button, and we want to change it so that when this sprite, so see how this is blue, when it receives the message start, some things happen. The first thing I want it to do is change its size. And I want its size to go all the way down to 60%. When I click the little green button, look at how quickly it switches to that size. I'm also going to make sure that later in my code, it is visible. Let's make our awesome little ship move by bringing in some control. We want to bring in the repeat forever, which is going to make it check some things forever and ever and ever and ever. So we're going to have a sweet little if inside there and then we need to go to a sensing and we're going to sense for a key to be pressed. And let's start by doing the right arrow and if the right arrow's pressed we want our little spaceship to move to the right which is on X. The moves are in the motion box and we want it to move a distance of X and let's increase it by 5 because our world's not real big. Do make sure that you grab X because we want to go to the right. Now if you grab Y then it'll go up. That's how easy it is to make it move. Let's test it. If you press your arrow it moves to the right. Well it'd be fun to go left as well, right? If you click out on the yellow piece you can duplicate that whole chunk, change it to the left arrow, and if it is positive to go to the right, it is negative to go to the left. Then grab the if and put it under the other if. Notice this forever surrounds both of them. Stop and start real quick and look at that. Left and right, our rocket ship goes. We need to make them so we can go up and down as well. So let's right click out on the yellow edge and duplicate that again. Set it down below for a moment, change it to the up arrow, but up is not X, up is Y, so change your Y. Notice I made sure I grabbed the Y, and I want to change it by 5 to go up as well. Let's drop it in. I'm going to right click and delete the little piece that I used to use, and let's see if our rocket goes up. Yes, it does. Right click out on the word then, and you can right click anywhere, that's just an easy way to find it. And change it to the down arrow, and change it to negative 5. And almost immediately, you have got a spaceship. Make sure that's in the forever loop, make sure yours has four things to check. That goes up, down, left, and right. Pretty magical, huh? Let's quickly click Save Now, 
and let's also save this magical code to what's called our backpack. The beauty of the backpack is you can put your parts down in here and then use them for any other projects you build. Our little sprite has a costume and it allows us to change his costume when he's doing something. So switch to the costume choice and we want to right click on this and duplicate Spaceship A. We're not going to use Spaceship B because notice it has feet, but we're going to go to the new Spaceship A2. Make sure you're on the select tool. Grab the little fella, find the rotate handle, and let's aim him so he's looking to the right. That would be the direction that he moves. Let's rename him by clicking right here and change this to right. And let's move back to our code, the script, and whenever we're doing the right arrow, let's change him to that costume by hitting the looks choice and switch to costume right. See how much niftier that looks? When we drive this way, he aims this way. Let's do the same thing to make one for when he aims left. Go back to the costumes, duplicate that spaceship right. Instead of right to, let's change it to be named left. Let's grab our sweet little vector image. Notice the tools are over here on the right. We always want to be using vectors. Grab him and let's rotate him all the way around so he's looking to the left. The only thing is I want the little bubble to be up top. We can solve that issue of the window being on the bottom by simply hitting flip upside down. And now spaceship left is aimed that way. Let's go back to our script. Let's bring out that switch costume and drop that in just like that. When he goes left, he aims that way, right, he aims that way. And it looks super cool. It's really easy to drop in the up arrow one because that was our first spaceship. Just go back to spaceship A. Test it and make sure that when he goes up, he looks the way you want. I'm going to hit start. And look at that. That looks good. And then I just need to fix it so he looks down. Now it's up to you. If you want him to look like he's landing that way, you can. If you want to look like he's aiming, we just need to make another costume super quick. I'm going to duplicate again. I'm going to change that to say spaceship down DN. And then I am going to use the awesome flip tool to just flip him immediately so he looks like that. Let's change our script so he's aimed down whenever he hits the down arrow. Let's zip back to our costumes real quick and let me just show you this little tool where we set the costume center. If you ever get it so that your spaceship is not lined up, this is how you get it so the center of your spaceship is where you expect it to be. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of lesson one. Make sure you've got your save now clicked. And friends, if you like this movie, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. If you have a question or a comment, please add it below. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new lesson from me, HL Mod Tech, hit that notification bell. Check back soon and you'll find part two of the lesson where we take our little spaceship and start to turn it into a game. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Unicorn Zombie Apocalypse.